Here's Brody Brazil. Cole Irvin. Cole Irvin, very much like James Caprillion last season, I kind of tabbed these two together as being great stories of the Oakland A's last year. And there were obviously others and people having certain success, but for Caprillion to be a rookie and get this chance and for Cole Irvin to come over from Philadelphia, I mean, I think the A's traded cash for him at some point. It, it, how did Oakland find Cole Irvin like this, get him for you know minimal, and all of a sudden he's such a, a, a key part of your rotation? It was a huge addition in 2021, adding some depth to a rotation that, you know, quite honestly, they were supposed to have uh, maybe a Puck or a Lazardo in there. And that, that just did not shake out. And Cole Irvin steps in, kind of like a lot of players, had a really good first half. Maybe the second half wasn't what he wanted it to be, but a true pitcher. Um, I said on here he used his defense last year, and I will get to that. I've got some really good stats for you in just a second on how efficient he was as a pitcher. Now, he's not a guy that's going to, blow you away with the heater. That's not what he's all about. He's literally a finesse pitcher. He's going to pitch to contact. He's going to try and keep hitters on the ground instead of in the air. He also does an issue a lot of free passes. Did I put that stat on here too? I don't even remember, but really, really efficient pitcher. But again, I think what he, what he only suffered from the most was just some highs and some lows. Like the highs were there, but the lows were there too. So kind of like this Oakland A's team, contain the lows, minimize the damage. Everybody's going to have those. Just don't let them extend for long periods of time. So there you go. Cole Irvin averaged 15 pitches per inning last year. That was fewest among anybody in the American League. Any pitcher in the American League, nobody threw fewer pitches, averaged fewer pitches per inning at that 15 than Cole Irvin. So that's what I'm talking about, pitching to contact, I've got the, I guess I have the strikeout stat on here, not the walks one, but fewest in the American League in pitches per inning. And I think he was like maybe fourth or fifth overall in it, all of Major League Baseball. But also this, only 6.31 strikeouts per nine innings, which is the third lowest in the American League from last year. So he, he's not going to rely on the strikeouts. He's not, I just realized his picture, his picture is distracted. There's my screenshot. Um, He's just, he's going to, he's a guy that's going to use his defense. Now, his defense is going to look a little bit different this year. Like you don't have Matt Olson scooping all and digging all those balls at first base. You don't have the platinum glover at third base, controlling foul ground, all that. You don't have uh, probably your, well, your center fielder, Ramon Laureano, for at least the first 27 games. This was an Oakland team that, you know, they got really good at defense. As much as we talk about offense, and maybe that's the sexy part, um, the A's were really, really solid defensively, and that has to continue for somebody like Cole Irvin, who's not an overpowering pitcher. Um, He's going to make his defense go to work. So hopefully they can do that still for him in 2022. 